Comedy Sports has made me the young man I am today. It's probably one of the greatest things I could have done. My confidence has increased a lot since starting here. I don't know, I just like everything about this place. You know, we teach act t t right? Okay, and that's, it can be applied to different things. It's attitude, commitment, teamwork, and trust. And that's actually helped me a lot in life. I do improv because I think it helps develop a lot of good skills, like thinking on your feet, and then it's also a really good way to be weird, but be weird with other weird people that accept you for being weird, and you can just sort of be yourself when you're doing it, and I really like that. It felt really comfortable, like, I felt like all I really had to do was go out there and try, and everyone would be really excited for whatever I was doing, because I was putting my all into it, and because my heart was in it. It is pretty much a home away from home. There's this feeling of, like, up with people that's, like, infectious that I really like about this place. Ah, I just love the Tuesdays here. And I love the shows, too. On Saturdays, amazing. It's extremely fun. You get to hang out with people that you know, I enjoy everyone's company, and I think they enjoy mine. Um, and you just, you have fun every week. Well, it's kind of a little ego boost, which everyone needs every so often. Oh my gosh, I love the pun game. It's because you can be like witty and clever. What I like to do is just help to support my, my other players. I like to help them feel better about themselves and to help them look really good on stage. It just gives you a great feeling when you, when you know you've set someone up to do something really well. It helps a lot with acting that I do, and it also helps with like social situations where I'm new and I have to adapt. So it helps me make friends easier. You can just sort of put your mind out there and people won't judge you and be like, oh, you're really weird. So you can just sort of be yourself, like I said, but a weirder version of yourself that you didn't know was there before. I can, you know, I'm better at making decisions and I feel like I'm a better friend because of this place because it's very much like, yes, and, and not like, you know, not put all the focus on yourself. I was a very shy young lad before I started doing these classes. I definitely expanded my bubble. Like, I'm definitely not socially awkward anymore. I absolutely love it. The reason I come to comedy sports every week is because I really feel like I have a place to belong. Everyone here is super understanding and really accepting of me as a person and I haven't felt that anywhere else and it's great to be around people that are like me and that like me for me. Yeah, it's good to be uh, appreciated with my own kind. <laughs> it can help you relate to people. I love that we're all a family in comedy sports. Well, what I learned in comedy sports is how I get along with people. I used to be kind of an antisocial person, really. So this has really helped with that because I tend to talk to people more often. It's also helped improve my confidence. It makes me feel good about myself and it makes me feel more confident in a new situation. I was having a lot of trouble with like school and stuff and there was a lot of negativity in my life and this helped like make me feel positive again. So um, I don't know and it helped me, it's improved my confidence in myself and my actions. I can probably go up onto a stage right now and just keep talking without even caring who's listening or paying attention or judging me. And we can all just be ourselves with one another and no one judges us because judging is bad. Some people might say that not caring what people think is a bad thing, but I think that it helps you grow because if you stop kind of caring what other people think, you can start to be yourself more often. And that's what I think of that. Well, I definitely, you know, have learned to trust my instincts so that I can make those decisions that happen on the spot quickly and efficiently. I'm better at leading than I was. I have learned to accept offers and like accept things from other people. I've learned to share focus with other people. <laughs> you can be a follower while being a leader and that is to just kind of help people better, uh, to help explain things to people who don't understand, and to kind of sit on the sidelines and let other people shine. Always have a yes and attitude because when something negates what you say, you just say yes and and you can make it flow again. I've learned a lot about teamwork and I've learned a lot about speaking, like just doing it, you know. I don't do public speaking. 
and comedy sports has really helped me with that. You can mess up and it's okay. Yay! <laughs> After you come to comedy sports, you sort of clear your mind, if you will, and then when you get home, it's just sort of like, oh yeah, I can actually go to school because I know I have comedy sports to look forward to on Tuesdays. And then that makes you excited. Everyone in county sports has their own bus and bus driving license. Um. At comedy sports, we don't throw people under the bus. We put people up, like, so that they can shine, and we have each other's backs. Like, having each other's backs is, like, a really big deal here. Like, we, we are here for each other. It's not like... It's not like we're throwing people down. We're very much like, oh, let me help you shine yourself, and then you can help me, and we'll, like, bounce off of each other. We support each other. You learn to share focus, which means you learn to have each other's backs. And having each other's backs is one of the most important things of improv. Comedy sports is absolutely fantastic. I would suggest, even if you're not outgoing, even if you don't like being in the center of things, you're accepted here, you're welcomed here, and the people here are great, you'll have a great time. It's a great way to boost up your self-confidence, and I'm so glad I joined. <laughs> So you're going to learn to love these people, like, this is a small family. These people love each other. I love everyone here. I love everything uh, we do here, and I couldn't ask for a better place to be. You learn how to tell a story. You learn how to make a scene, and you, really kind of, you work on how to make a scene flow. And the flow of the show is the most important. Because if you don't have good flow in a show, then that show is a zero.